Hey Scorpio, this is Sunny, and this is your weekly for the week of August 31st, 2015. So if you like a reading from me, the link is always in the description box below. And after each video, I always have to say where my website is. So keep in mind that these are just general readings, and I may not get to your situation in this particular video. Um, so like I said, if you want to, you can check me out. My website is below. I'm still doing a Swix in the videos for the two Zodiac signs or seasonal sight interview video. The Zodiac sign or seasonal sight video. I'm going to talk about your career, your finances, and on your love life. And for the Zodiac sign or seasonal most viewed video, I'm going to give you a detail weekly upon that week. Um, any visions for my Scorpios? I don't be naggy. Don't be naggy. I'm picking up like just yeah, just don't be naggy. Yeah, don't be naggy. If I seem blah, I'm really, really tired. Um I really, really am. Alrighty, but um three major cards out of six. So this lets me know that there's gonna be some sort of changes happening your way. It could be good or bad. I do feel like a lot of you like you have a lot of choices to make. Um you need to decide upon what's um really suitable for your world. A lot of you like you are really hungry for new opportunities you want to explore. But just make sure that you are exploring the right thing. Alright. I am picking up that a lot of you um this is gonna be a really good week for you to expand your spirituality and to learn more about your intuition. I am picking up that the things that you've been praying upon you are going to receive some sort of news about that um i am seeing that you will meet a new group of people and you may find these people really cool uh but then you may find these people like just really not on your level like either these people may be too childish for you or these people like they may be too sedity for you if you don't know what sedity means like they think that they're better than you um I am picking up that a lot of you, like if you are in marriages right now, I am seeing that you need to be mindful of you. Be okay, this is going both ways. All right, so if you have a marriage that's like on the rocks and it's like really, really weird, I am picking up that you need to worry about yourself. I do feel like your mate, um, they're going to give you some sort of news and this is going to help you think more about yourself and um, to, worry, to worry more about your independence. I am picking up that there may be some breaks within marriages, some divorce. To be honest um and maybe within serious relationships um on a brighter note i am picking up that some marriages um they may give you hope and they may give you abundance um just don't be naive and this may be marriage or relationships honestly just don't be naive with anyone because i am picking up that um people may pull the wool over your eyes this week um get off your high horse and just see shit for what it is like if you like honestly understand how your partner feels Really, I am picking up some lessons learned. I keep picking up on the Ace of Pentacles. This lets me know that, that like you really need to pay attention to yourself. I am picking up on some disagreements. Honestly, be mindful of, you know, there may be some minor breaks this week. And when I say breaks, I mean like breaking up, separation, all right? If you are tied into a Taurus person, I am picking up that uh, you may find this Taurus person kind of naive. But they are going to help you. I'm picking up that you may receive a messenger for this week. Or maybe um, your angels will speak through this Taurus person. Really spiritual connection with this Taurus person. And, and this may be their sun, their moon, and or their rising sign. I am picking up that this person is going to help you take a closer look upon yourself. And they're going to help you realize... Um, you know, some things are just lesson learned. All right, really good time for you guys to pay attention to your spirituality and pay attention to your dreams. Okay, I am picking up that if you are tied into a lot of people this week, if you are tied into an air sign per no, well, well, if you are tied into a fire sign person, fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We're going to talk about the air signs later. But if you are tied into a fire sign person. Um, you may want something with this person. You may take a closer look at, at this person. You may share some sort of news with this person. But I am making up that your children, you need to be mindful of your children because your children, they really are going to give you some sort of message. They really, really are. I see you networking with a lot of people and you're getting feedback from other people. So that's really, really interesting. But like I said, I am picking up that a lot of you, like you are going to receive some sort of news 
and this may be good news it may be bad news I'm honestly picking up that this is news for a new beginning brighter days um, especially like if you've been trying to like make ends meet and you're trying to um, maybe benefit someone else I do feel like uh, you may have to walk away from the person who you're trying to please especially like if they aren't really pleasing you all right I am seeing that if you are tied into an air sign person air signs are Aquariuses, Gemini's and Libras you may feel really depressed with this um, air sign person I'm picking up like a lot of unwanted baggage maybe some sort of a set um, of obsession maybe some cheating going on be, more, be mindful of the things that you say, Scorpios, because I am picking up on some heated energy, a lot of arguments, a lot of um, jumping to conclusions. I'm also seeing that if you are tied into a Capricorn person, a lot of heated energy with this Capricorn. Like, just be mindful of the things that you say in general, to be honest. I am picking up um, a lot of you, like, you may want to save your marriage or you may want to or you may want to save a relationship uh a lot of baggage like a lot of you like you you want to save the wrong thing be careful about that i am picking up that a lot of you um you may go back to bad habits you may go back to old patterns um same thing you may go back to um sucky lovers please be careful about that please be careful about that um some of you like you kind of are going through some of you Please, some of you, don't be in your fucking head, all right? No offense. Some of you are going through a mild depression right now. And you're feeling as if, you know, nothing is looking up for you. I am uh, picking up that you are being put through a test. Yes, another test, another test. And you must think logically. Like, let stuff go. Like, if you haven't smoked in, like, five months and someone comes to you like, Hey, I got some weed. You trying to smoke? You trying to match? And you're like, yeah. Yeah, let's smoke. That's a test. You felt it, all right? If your past lover hits you up and you're like, I miss the way you suck my dick. You trying to fuck me tonight? And you're like, yeah, that's a test. You felt it. So, I mean, I'm sorry to be so blunt, but, like, honestly, those are tests. The weirdest things can be tests. So, just be mindful of the things that you say, you know, and the things that you do, especially like if you've been trying to be on this really, really good path, all right? So be careful about that. I am seeing that you need to be mindful of you placing yourself in these illusions and you being in your head too much. Be careful about that. I am picking up that this is going to be a really, really good time for you to take a closer look at the darker side of you, all right? Find out your moon sign if you can, if you can. Um... But I am picking up that this is going to be a really good time, like I said, to take a closer look within your inner demons and within the darker side of you. Um, I am picking up that your anger may get the best of you, so be careful about that. I talked about that previously. Um, but take this time to allow for the truth to come to the light. I am picking up that, honestly, you need to rest. Um, if you fight your intuition and you go against your intuition, I am picking up that there's going to be some sort of lessons learned um, and some sort of delays for a lot of you. Um, I am picking up that some of you, like you may feel the ba you may feel abandoned. I'm always saying the abandoned. It's funny. You may feel abandoned. Um, I'm also picking, like especially like if you have some Libra within your chart or if you are born near the corpse of um, Libra. Um, I am picking up that some. Um, you may feel as if you uh, disappointed yourself, but I mean, you can stop that from happening. You really, really can. You are, you are your own person. Um, I am seeing that if you are tied into a Pisces person, a lot of anger going on with you guys for this week. I'm not trying to be funny. Be careful about that. Um, your ego and your temper may get the best of you. But if you are tied into a Pisces person, I am seeing like you fighting them more for like disagreements or unexpected changes. Um, learn from your experiences and you know just cut people off like if you find that you're getting yourself um, like let me let me uh, say that differently if you see yourself getting upset and if you find yourself in tricky situations be the bigger person do not be naive do not be gullible don't just do do shit just to have fun and you're stressed and you just want to you just want to like just do crazy stuff no be the bigger person. The spotlight is on you. Your guardian angels are looking at you like, 
We want you to be good. We want you to be happy. You've been wanting and praying for new, bigger things. So show us that you can do it. And you need to prove them right or prove them wrong, honestly. They they are really doubting you. I hate to say that. I know a lot of Scorpios and they're going down the wrong path. Don't take this the wrong way. Some of y'all are good, all right? Um, so honestly, just be mindful of your ego. Be mindful of your temper. Um, be mindful of depression. Be mindful of going back to bad things that aren't really serving your purpose. Pay attention to your dreams. Um, don't allow yourself to be in this weird illusion. Please don't. A lot of you, like, you may have dreams of, like, dark figures and maybe monsters, all right? And a lot of, like, a lot of you, like, you may have dreams of you being in the woods, especially when you're at night. Wood dreams, um, some of you are sex-deprived, some of you maybe. Um, but honestly, the woods is the time to explore and expand your, um, spirituality, um, see the forest from the trees. Just see things for what it really is, all right? But the message I'll just speak for you guys. Usually, the Ten of Pentacles mean family. And it means um, you being successful, usually. But when I honestly first saw this card, I thought about abundance. And I feel like you guys have really great potential to gain abundance. You have potential to be happy. You have potential to be successful. You have potential to um, get the things that you want. But you need to take a closer look upon your foundation. This is what I really want you guys to do. I want you to make a list. Write 10 things that really mean a lot to you. All right. And go down all those 10 things that mean a lot to you. And pick out the ones that you can achieve um, within this before this year ends. All right, make a star beside all the things that you can achieve before this year ends, and see if you can do it by um, December thirty first. All right, and if you've done it, then you will receive an awesome blessing. You really will receive an awesome blessing, and it will help you gain a new perspective on things. However, if you don't. Delays, delays and heartbreak for you. All right. So try to have a good week this week, my Scorpios, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.